For many years, the 3,000 meter high glacier at Langrubenjoch in South Tyrol has been slowly but constantly receding, revealing pieces of wood. Any timber found at this elevation must have been deposited by humans since the timber line was never any higher than 2,500 meters. That's why these finds are of archaeological interest and hopefully they can let us draw conclusions about the lives of our ancestors. A team of archaeologists has documented its dig at Langrubenjoch and the time that it spent there. The logistic challenges and alpine terrain make any archaeological research performed in these mountains more difficult than in the valley. First the team is flown into the mountains. Afterwards, a sizable amount of modern archaeological equipment is transported to the site by helicopter. Being at an altitude of 3,000 meters puts serious demands on the team and the material. Not everyone is able to camp and work at this altitude. The thin air and the harsh temperatures can make working here a truly terrible endeavor. Before any archaeological dig, or as in this case, before the recovery of prehistoric timber, it is of the utmost importance to record the current state. The team doesn't just start digging, but rather documents the site in detail first. The entire area is filmed with the help of a camera mounted on a drone. Additionally, all prominent spots are surveyed using GPS as well as traditional devices so that all of the finds can be accurately recorded in a detailed map at the end of the dig. The actual recovery process starts only after this important step is concluded. Using a metal detector, the team searches for metal archaeological finds. Every unassuming pile of stones is inspected with care because an experienced observer can often detect remains of structures on the basis of very few signs. If an archaeological object is found, it isn't collected immediately. First, the team takes pictures of the site and of the object, then draws a map, and finally surveys the spot in detail. Only then is the object packed up and labeled. Due to how well objects are protected by ice, the timber found here was sensationally well preserved, allowing for precise dating using tree rings. At the end of the working day, the team labels the objects with the date of the find, archives them, and prepares them for transport into the valley. Digs in high altitude mountains are dependent upon the weather, and so the time window for research is often very narrow. As the glaciers continue to melt, more interesting archaeological finds will be uncovered in the future. But that isn't something that applies only to archaeologists. Anybody who hikes in the high-altitude mountains may come across archaeological objects and can make them available to researchers.